storms roll through the Mid-South. Many areas have you heard of already dealing with high winds and heavy rain. WREG Shea Simon spoke with MLDW emergency management officials and others as they tried to prepare. And Shea, you better have both hands on the steering wheel this evening. Oh, absolutely. Stephanie and Greg, we're out here at Tumbley Park and you can just feel those wind gusts coming through. Now, I did get a chance to reach out to MOGW and they tell me as many are concerned about those power outages that they are prepared. I'm taking my dog for a walk this afternoon before it gets worse. Daniela Molina is alone walking her dog, but not alone in the race to enjoy Tom Lee Park before possible severe weather. We didn't expect this much wind today. I like the wind. But as WRG weather experts have warned, this isn't just another windy day. My question to you is, have you planned? Have you prepared? Are you ready? Remember, a lot of this shower and thunder shower activity is going to be moving through the Mid-South between about 4 and 8 o'clock this evening, right smack dab in the middle of the rush hour. How serious should people be taking this? I think they should take it very seriously because uh, I understand that it may be wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour. And at that rate, uh, things could be moved around. And a strong wind and heavy rain could be a recipe for power outages. Charles Newell with Shelby County Emergency Management tells me. Where there are high winds, you may have a situation where tree limbs fall onto electrical wires, which will cause a power uh, disruption. In that particular case, we advise people to take precautions. In a statement, MOGW tells me they are prepared to deal with weather related outages and crews are prepared to work around the clock if needed. We live uh, downtown, so we do get a lot of it you know, in our building, uh, but we really try to stay safe, all the windows closed. We tend to get a lot of, uh, you know, um, uh, damage to our fences, damage to the roof, stuff like that. So I just really go out there and check. Well, people are getting prepared. Now, Stephanie Gray, this uh, image GW tells me that if customers do have any outage, that there is a number that they can call to report. And that number is 544-6500. Live in downtown Memphis tonight, Shay Simon, WREG News, Channel 3. All right.